There he goes. He's a, yeah, I saw him in Discord playing Necrodancer, so. We'll get started in just a wee bit here. My name is Tic Tac Fo. I will be your commentator for this race. And this is, uh, I think I mentioned it, a auto-gen matchup. So for all the points. All right, we're ready. And we're off. Oh, look, it's, it's Link. Is this Cadence of Hyrule? <laughs> Broadsword for Jaguar, Nick, Con 1-1. One, one. Both racers will be avoiding that. Elad's not even going to find it. And Jaguar reset to get a quicker... Uh, <laughs> quicker start there. Uh, Elad using a value bomb there to open a crate and kill the, the Minotaur, but there's just a monkey in the barrel. Link from the Cadence of Hyrule franchise. Yep, this is where the crossover began. Uh, Elad has enough money to get a Ring of War from the the Conjurer on one one. That's going to be a huge advantage right off the get go. Red Chest has some cheese, and uh, we'll have a Blood Shop somewhere on this level, but we'll need some way to open it first. Jaguar Nick has two bombs to open it, as they did not get that Ring of War. There's a fake shrine here with heavy plate in it. Here's some armor, everybody. Just a big old shield for Link, though. And another bomb in the barrel. Uh, Elad doing some fancy pulling up to uh, <laughs> the uh, boss and uh, the blood shop here. Um, glass, broadsword, titanium staff, gold warhammer. Elad's gonna go for the war staff. Three damage. That's real good. Jaguar Nick's gonna spend the time to get a luck charm. And with cheese, Elad can really start pushing here. Has a really strong build. Uh, Jaguar is going to pick up the uh, the staff as well. Might check the shop. Nope, headed down to 1-3. And Elad's done with the uh, zone 1 boss. It was Deep Blues. Gets the flawless victory for a uh, black chest check. It's going to switch off to Old Faithful. Uh, staff might be a little scary. And this is way more reliable. 3 damage Old Faithful. Circlet pick up for Elad. Um... It's going to give some pseudo mapping. You can see where all the enemies are on the map. But you are going to get a lot of uh, guest spawns. So you got to keep a heads up for that. And Nick finally down to deep blues, which was your zone one boss. Using that staff to get a nice quick kill with the heart transplant. And uh, there's the leprechaun get for Elad. Uh, purple chest check for Jaguar. Going to get the pulse spell. So if we find any trap doors, they'll be mitigated very easy. Oh, it's Dark Link <laughs> as the clones. That's scary. And that staff putting in work. Jaguar getting that bat from across the level. Trap door for Elad down to your zone two boss core rift just as Jaguar Nick falls into theirs. Misses the pulse though, so has to actually fight it. And this is going to be a long fight for Elad on Coral Rift. No bombs. We'll have to take out the tentacles and Jaguar not gonna take a hit from the armadillo to head down to that mosh pit earlier but now is on the same fight uh, could potentially have a faster fight depending on how the tentacles attack and is gonna get it drums coming down right away uh, we'll have to do two hits on coral rift but we might be able to line up a second shot here yep totally can flawless victory bomb spell for elad in the purple chest and circlet's gonna tell him which way to go in zone three we take out that red dragon nick getting that uh bomb spell as well and we'll be able to use elad as kind of a, a way to map through this zone if he's keeping an eye on him another trap on three two down to three three elad uh gonna deal with that mosh pit jaguar nick has to deal with a uh blue dragon though instead of the red because they do not have that ring of war gonna go back for the drumstick and get full health eventually 
can take a few more hits yet. Nick gonna go shopping, yeah. Trying to find something to help the build along. Gets Explorer Boots and uh, the Ear Muffins headphones for plus two damage. Missing a second pulse on uh, the mosh pit there for Jaguar Nick, but recovers with a bomb spell. Eli on your zone three bosses for Tismol did take a splash and then a hot coal hit, so down to one heart. Looking a little scared. We'll be looking for health health drops in uh, zone four. Through gargoyles or barrels, shops, any ways to get health regen. Especially with three damage, can open anything, finds a carrot. A confused Jaguar Nick fighting, uh, oh dear. <laughs> Using a uh, really good use of the drumstick there to eat the uh, bomb blast, but still took a hit from the blue uh, dragon. Elad finding a food shop on 4 1 right at the exit. Gonna get a few more hearts before moving on. Good pulse for Jaguar Nick on the Fortissimal fight. Gonna be checking, uh, probably blood. No, going purple. Finds a ring of luck. Uh, I think, yeah, you grab the ring of luck because that turns all your barrel food into ham. Makes it extra safe. And there's a bunch of heals for Elad. Finds a drumstick and a gargoyle. Should be able to heal back to full health whenever he wants. And there's some fancy teleporting by Jaguar Nick. Good heads up play to pulse down that, uh, um, ogre, but then unfortunately got caught up by a uh, telemonkey. Gonna have to spend a little more time. And Elad just tanking these hits down to 4 3. Heavy plate will allow that. No telemonkeys for Elad this time. Uh, he's gonna use a gargoyle to open up this little room for the dragon fight on 4-3. There's some cookies for Jaguar Nick. Earth spell doesn't work like that. <laughs> gonna use a bomb to get the cookies and heal up. And death metal for Elad on zone four. Looks like Jaguar Nick took a telemonkey to that shop. Gonna pick up a helmet that's not really gonna do anything for him. Not a flawless victory for Elad, but doesn't matter really at this point. Build's good enough for the win. It's going to start motoring through zone three. There's a fun teleport for Jaguar Nick. <laughs> and another one. Finding a glass shop. Not going to want anything in there. Blue dragon ambush here. Going to get a pulse. So oh, misses the pulse. Tries to earth there. And there, finally, we get the pulse on. That was a scary blue dragon, and Nick's gonna go down to uh, Diagonal Armadillo. Looks like Elad found a uh, potion of need. Scroll of need, even. To get a potion, uses the blood shovel to get down to half a heart. will be in command of the rest of this seed. Finds a transmute shop on 5-2. Can go for, uh, looks like he's gonna go for a different helmet here. I'm not sure which one he'll want. Blast Dome helps, yeah. Grab that. He has a pot from need, yep. Yeah, paying extra attention to that yellow uh, poltergeist coming in. That would have ruined Elad's uh, <laughs> build completely. He would have been down to one heart. One purple heart, even. We got heavy glass, two purple hearts, and a rat charm in the 5-3 shop. I think Eli's just gonna skip these things and go. Switched off to a titanium rapier at some point. Finding more bombs. Smart not to dig there, using the bomb instead. Protect that potion. If we could find some food to protect that potion even more, it'd be good, but essentially you can just think of it as five more hearts. 
It's a left side spawn dead ringer. Uh, looks like we're gonna set up some lure strats here, which are very safe, but I won't blame you chat if you uh, spam resident sleeper. <laughs> But it gets the job done. Flawless victory for Elad and uh, onto the Necker Dancer fight. This time Jaguar and Nick got that Ring of War. Before headed down to 1-3. Uh, and there's that Blood Shovel dig with simultaneous potion quaff for Elad. <laughs> Getting a free hit on Necker Dancer. One more hit. And I'm gonna take this first seed of the matchup. There it is. Ten twenty in game race time even. Ten oh six in game. Nope. Elad gets the loot. GG. And then uh, I think I have Jaguar Nick teleporting around in zone four, because it's silly. And I like watching it. <laughs> yep. And then another one. <laughs> Just making a real quick in that zone four there. That's fun. All right, next seed in. There are other races going on today. Uh, Elad has another one right after this one against Jambler. And Sivir is facing off with Goof right now. Plenty of races to be had today. Immediate purple chest and cracked wall on 1-1. One, one. It's a ring of gold and then a blood shop. Coupon, blood whip, and gold spear. It looks like, yeah, Eli's just going to reset and keep the bomb. Uh, Jaguar Nick took the coupon. So immediate advantage. They already have a one run. Both racers down to 1-2 at relatively the same time. Degronek going to check that shop and is going to get a free shield spell. Keep on paying off. And even going to go back for the armor, I think. There, Jaguar Nick in leather armor. Or just a leather shield, I guess. And Elad's going to end up skipping all that. Found a, uh, a carrot somewhere on 1-2. Probably in that red chest. That's going to be a good heal for Jaguar Nick from that blood purchase of the coupon. It's weird buying coupons. Coupons usually just like get those in the mail. <laughs> now we went to the blood store. And... Ring of luck for Elad on 1 3. Jaguar Nick. Fat finger, I uh, I don't know, must have done a mosh bit. And Nick's gonna pick up the ring of luck too. Shielding instead of eating, okay. Yeah, something went weird there, yeah. Not like this. And this dragon fight's not too safe for Jaguar. Nick gonna take a hit from a ghost. And Elad's about to experience the same thing. Did a lot better dodging there, but needs to retreat quite a bit of the ways back through the level. But maintains that full heart, uh, full health there. Nixon, King Konga, your zone one boss. Going to use a bomb to get into phase two quickly. Throw the dagger. Just kidding. Going to hold the dagger. No walks of shame. Elad with four bombs will probably do the same. Black chest check. Swagger suit. All right. Imagine Eli. Oh, uh, yeah. Eli's got to do a little bit of walk of shame here, <laughs> but gets the flaws victory. Is gonna want to get that Swagger suit as well. Bomb spell on two one. Use it to find more bombs. And then uh, we'll be looking for a weapon as soon as possible here. It's not a true walk of shame because he didn't check the uh, chest and then go back, but it's more of a safe strat, I guess. Yeah, 
Yeah, but dagger in zone two. Uh, it's gonna take both our racers a, a while to get through here. Just in the way that... Oh, and there's a glass longsword pickup for Jagor Nick on 2-2. Two, two, so that's a good swap out. Um, just have to be careful with it. Uh, Elad breaks his immediately and then is caught up here. Trying to get out of this Minotaur attack. Gotta got get back to that dagger somehow. Or use a bomb and leave. Oh, the armadillo coming in. <laughs> uh, I think Elad's option was to leave there. Gonna use a bomb. We did it. We got the dagger back. Well done. <laughs> Core Rift, your zone two boss. Jagger and Nick are already on top of it here. Gonna use bomb and then a shield. Make it extra safe. Red chest find for Elad finds uh, the torch of walls and then a glass bow in the black chest. Not safe. Not safe. Food shop in three one. Just gonna get an extra heart out of it for Jaguar Nick. Elad's gonna be playing catch up here, and it's gonna be a long bottle of catch up because just the dagger in zone two, like I was saying earlier, takes a lot of hits to go through enemies. Looks like Jagor Nick found a uh, Shrine of Darkness. Gonna get that mapping. Easy Coral Rift kill though for Elad. It's gonna switch off to that glass bow, I'd imagine. Yeah, glass bow. <laughs> glass bow's fine because you're doing four damage. You just have to pay attention to where like hot coals are because um, with the increased range, you're gonna get snagged on a lot of enemies. So it's just, as long as you're not standing on hot coals, you should be relatively safe. As we make a ton of them here on the way to the exit. But sometimes you just gotta, just gotta make them. Jaguar Nick stealing from the shop here. Uh, there's a blood harp in there, but with no damage up, we're gonna pass on it. Did find a heal spell though, that's nice. Yeah, beetles are a big problem with any snaggy weapon. Gotta let them in close first. Oh, he led getting frozen there. Oh, hot dog gonna break. Okay, get bailed. There's a uh, <laughs> glass cutlass, which immediately breaks. <laughs> and Eli's gonna take the trap door down. <laughs> that was just silly. Uh, I think you're dead. Oh, he's getting out of it. Use a bomb maybe to make it go quicker. This is silly. Yeah, there's the bomb use. But now, oh yeah. <laughs> now the knight comes in and takes him down. Oh man. <laughs> he was trying everything he could do to stay alive there, but it was too, too much glass. <laughs> and uh, Jaguar Nick did find an actual weapon. <laughs> Switching off to Obsidian Longsword. I'm assuming we got that in the Zone, four, uh, zone 3 boss room. And uh, yeah, with that death, uh, it's Jaguar Nick's seed to win here. We'll be looking to get off this ring as soon as we can to make things uh, better for everyone involved. And here we are, transmute shop with the ring. We can make whatever we want. We got all the time in the world. We're gonna get a big dig. We're gonna get a titanium cat. Uh, it's gonna switch off ring now. I might go for something else besides that monocle, but it's a little late now. Uh, ring a piece. Gonna finish it all out. Could switch to ring of regen if we really wanted to. That's what we're gonna do. It's not looking extra safe. Eating a wall pig there though, and then blowing up, <laughs> blowing up your carrot you're trying to get in the first place. What are you doing? <laughs> All right, Jaguar Nick headed down to zone 4-3, taking another hit. <laughs> Looks like Elad did another reset there.
Maybe, Monster Racer, maybe. <laughs> Deep Blues is your zone four boss. Jake or Nick down to it. Gonna go straight up the middle, hit that shield spell. And use a bomb. That's not gonna finish off Deep Blues though in a zone four. Got five health. But we'll get the flawless victory. And a bomb charm. We got big booms going into zone five. And uh, Elad's doing uh, another kind of strategy when uh, you go down and your opponent's way far ahead of you like this. You start to slow play a lot in your first couple zones and make a huge build so that if your opponent does go down, you have this huge advantage over them already with uh, a stronger build. But Jaguar Nick with uh, the Ring of Regen and Heal Spell should be pretty all right. Has a bunch of bombs for uh, panic, if, panic drops if we need them. But they'll be down to Dead Ringer here. And it's a right side spawn. So say it with me, chat. Easy. Left side scoots. Did take a hit though, and uh, did just fine there. Honking that bell for a few extra hits. And uh, Elad uh, <laughs> blood magic himself down while trying to fight that dragon. Big booms. One more big boom. Missed the uh, shield spell bug, but that's fine. Might, might just been better to uh, yeah keep the health. Still waiting to get that first hit on Necrodancer, and there it is. Oh, that was the second hit. Having to deal with a lot of spawns and bad teleports. Elad's gonna hang out with the shopkeeper and watch uh, this Necker Dancer fight. One more hit on uh, that there Necker Dancer, don't you know? Let's go, go up and attack him. Jaguar Nick looking a little uncomfortable during this fight, but does get it. Gonna take one loot off Elad here with a race time of 11:10. GG. And uh, let's check out that those fantastic. Plays by Elad <laughs> in zone three. It breaks their glass weapon. Oh, wait, there's a black chest over here. I'm fine. Oh, wait, it's more glass. And that got broken as well. <laughs> I don't know if the re yeah, replay's not going to catch that entire thing, but <laughs> that was quite, quite the shenanigans there. third race underway as always schedule is posted in chat um there is another race going on right now between goof and severe and that's tied as well one to one a lot of ties today it's not casual friday you gotta wear your tie when you go into necro dance Both racers just resetting real quick, um, going the wrong way at the beginning, not finding any crack walls or chests or anything. Red bat room. Those usually have chests in them. Elad's gonna miss it, and it's just a torch. Nothing too, too terrible. And uh, titanium whip pickup for Elad in this arena. I like the two damage up. I approve. 
Uh, Nyx finds the blood shop on 1-1. One, one. It's got some ham and some quartz armor. That shield looks real neat on Link. I'm sure it's an actual Zelda lore item, but I don't know what it is. Looks cool. Um, Jaguar Nick gonna grab the fireball. Elad took the whip over the fireball? Question mark. This fight does take a long time with the dagger, but that's why I used the fireball, I guess. But Elad did switch off to uh, the gold cat. And a good leprechaun get for Jaguar Nick after that arena fight too. We'll see if Elad does it on this dragon. Yeah, it looks like he will. A little bit of leprechaun milking. No shrine or risk take from either racer. And Elad's gonna check the shop on one too. It's got a red chest with torture walls in it. That's your mapping. And Jaguar Nick's gonna miss out on that as they went down a trapdoor into 1-3, which they have just completed the mosh pit for, and Elad killed the boss, so it doesn't have to do the mosh pit. Free barrel for Jaguar Nick, gonna get a bomb out of it, and <laughs> Nick finds a, a map in the 1-3 shop, so mapping for both of our racers. But Elad's already into your zone one boss, it's going to be Fortissimal. Gets the flawless victory. Uh, we'll see if he stays on the gold cat. Might just go black chest. Yeah, titanium sphere. We're going to switch out for that. Good fireball by Jaguar Nick there. The Minotaur got away from him. But fireball will clean that up just fine. Is there down to Fortissimo? Elad going to do... Oh, the uh, exit's that way. I thought he was just going to the shop. Might take a peek in there to see what's up. The gi. Yeah, no gi take here. Ball victory for Jaguar Nick. Uh, probably gonna get that spear as well. And down to zone two. There's a Shrine of Darkness on 2-3, right next to a locked wall, or a locked shop here. Oh, it's a it's a fake shrine, though. <laughs> Titanium Bow, we're going to leave that behind. We might check this locked shop, though. It usually has good stuff, especially on a, a level 3. Uh, it has some armor, uh, empty heart, and the Ring of Becoming, so meh. Armor's good. I'm not going to take the Ring of Becoming. Jaguar Nick got a pickaxe out of the 2-1 the shop and finds a Ring of Regen in the Shrine of Blood for 2-2. Two, two. Excellent find. Pair well with that Quartz Armor. Crack Wall and a Red Chest for Elad on 2-3. It's a Torch of Foresight. We don't want that because we have Torch of Walls. He blows it up in uh, uh, it looked like a glass shop. Uh, that mole eating the glass shop teleport. Uh, Eli could have got a shovel out of there. That would have helped. Otherwise, probably would have kept what they had. Nick's going to get into this uh, lock shop as well. See what they take. Probably the... Uh, going to keep quartz armor. Okay. Purple chest check for Elad. It's a uh, tome of transmutes. Yeah, at least it wasn't transmog. Yeah. <laughs> that shop that got eaten. But Nick down into your zone 2 boss. It's a uh, deep lose as Eli just gets down to 3-2. I'm going to try to maintain this lead. The clappers are coming. Horizontal blue dragon for Elad. A little scary. Going to check a black chest here for a gold staff. We don't want that. Handling that dragon approach just fine. A lot of ice on this level, though. We'll be headed down to 3-3. Three, three. Jaguar Nick just getting down to 3-2 as Elad leaves it. Shop on 3-3 three, three has uh, sunglasses, a war drum. Elad might transmute these. Yeah. Finds a Squagga suit for 18 coin. That's super cheap. I'm going to get some Earth Tomes. 
Jagger and Nick can double fireball this uh, dragon to make it go quickly. Get the one fireball in there. Looks like we're not going to double fireball. Totally should have because uh, it took a hit anyway from the ice elemental. You got that ring of regen, which will heal you up. Elad found a trapdoor into your zone three boss. It's death metal using a grenade to take uh, six HP off of him right away. Then getting the flawless victory. Checking black for a titanium harp. He's probably looking for something a little faster than uh, the uh, titanium spear, or maybe just didn't want to show Jaguar Nick what was in uh, the purple chest as they find that trap door and down into the death metal fight. Some explore boot pickup for Elad on 4 1, and some cheese for safety. Jaguar Nick did not get the flawless victory on Deep Blue. He's going to take, uh, did not take the Tell Monkey. Killed it. I consider switching off that Jewel Dagger, um, but going to stay on the Titanium Spear for Jaguar Nick. Did Elad pass on that too? Five damage is real good. But dagger range is sometimes scary. Elad down to 4-2, dealing with uh, an armadillo swarm. Manages to bomb him. Take care of him there. Oh, Nick having some problems at the 4-1 exit, down to half a heart. Needs to get down to those stairs to get the re regen to heal him up. Speaking of half a heart, Elad's down to it, and this is a swarm we don't like to see. A uni, yeah. Goblin bomber coming in. There are just too many enemies there. Could have earth to stay alive, but uh, panic mode set in pretty quick. When you see all those enemies on screen. Jaguar Nick finds a, a shop here on 4-2. Going to pick up a monocle and uh, a compass, I think it was. Oh, just missed that fireball on uh, the golems there, but we got big link. Should be able to take care of these enemies in two shots. I don't like that Gigantism doesn't have uh, piercing associated with it. Oh, Ghost coming in for Jaguar Nick, almost taking him down there. A little scary on half a heart, but Ring of Regen, gonna bring him back. And, uh, Jaguar Nick will be looking to slow play the rest of the run here, but sometimes that's not always safe. There's a pixie kiss. Get some more health back. Feels good. And a squagga suit along the way. You not grabbing the squagga suit over quartz? Uh, I don't know about that, but uh, <laughs> getting pushed back by the swarm. Careful to teleport on the ooze. Use your fireball or just kill the ogre. That works too. Yeah, I don't know about this uh, Squagga suit skip. It's pretty good. But onto your zone four boss is Coral Riff. Uh, it's gonna throw fireball and now you don't have a weapon and this drum's in your face. Uh, set up for a bomb kill here though. Or another fireball, that works too. Down to zone five. Elad found that quartz and uh, pulse tome. Not gonna use it in this uh, mini boss room though. Using the gold cat for an easy kill. Yeah, slow play strats, it, it, it sounds like something you shouldn't have to practice because it's like, I just go slow and I win, right? That's slow play strats, but uh, in a race situation, you know, your nerves are along with you, and slow play strats can actually get you into a lot of trouble if you're not doing them properly. But Nick looking better here, has an apple for an emergency heart heal. And Ring of Regen still doing its job. And like, this isn't great slow play, I would say, because, uh... You're getting pushed all the way back to the beginning. Um, 
staying on the conduit in zone five is real. Look at this swarm. Get on the conduit. <laughs> there you go. Take out all those enemies. Maybe go for that cheese. But yeah, ended up having to go all the way around anyway. Um, yeah, not looking comfortable at all. Uh, skipping that Shriner. Throw spear hit piece. I mean, yeah, that's a full heal. Elad is doing a pushback here, though. Is in the two, uh, two, 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 three. And all right, we got the Dead Ringer fight for Jaguar Nick. We're gonna see some fireball spells going right up the gun. It's a left side spawn, and looks like Japanese strats. No fireballs. But we're into the Necrodancer fight just as Elad gets into uh, the Deep Blues fight and found a uh, electric dagger of his own. Would have liked to have that first go around. I'm gonna transmute them pulse stones. Nope. Uh, one hit on the Necrodancer for Jaguar Nick. Looking pretty safe this fight. At full health, has an apple to heal if we need to. Just don't get hit and we'll be fine. Just don't get hit. It's that easy. One more hit on the Necrodancer and Nick's gonna take this match over Elad two to one. 12.46 race time, 12.29 in-game, GG. I think the replay I have is of Elad's death here, just getting caught up in a swarm at the 4-2 exit. Yeah, Blade Master's just coming in, hit him like four times there, oof. Oof, needed to earth, could've earthed there, could've earthed there. A little bit of panic, but GG's, they're both racers. We have another race coming up in 20 minutes. Elad again versus a Jambler. And I'll be hosting that here as well. Jack would say use your spells. Even if you got to read for them. But uh, I'm going to take this opportunity to take a quick break. I've been 